you got to shoot them. Uh, you don't know if you, you can make it or not if you don't shoot them. So uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Uh, but uh, he's been great. Uh, he's been more of a dom dominance. Not that he wasn't already, but uh, he's, he's been great. How much better friends are you guys after going through all that, on the road, everything you went through, adversity, fun times, I'm sure, at the hotels and things? Yeah, yeah it's, it's been great. Uh, I love these dudes um, with all my heart. Um, and, it's great being around them each and every day. Um, I'm grateful to have them as a you know, teammate, so, and I, I call them brothers. Armando said that he wants to fight you sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does that come from? He always playing. He don't, he, he don't really want no smoke, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's, what's your favorite thing you've gotten to do, like just opportunity-wise, since obviously you know becoming in some ways like celebrities? As far as what though, like? It's just like, it could be anything, someone you met, somewhere you got to go that you wouldn't have gotten to go to like last year. Um, I mean, uh, I got to, uh, I don't know. I think I saw you worked out with, with Damian Lillard, but it could yeah, be like yeah, a that's probably Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing uh, yeah. this summer. I got to work out with, I got to go to his camp and uh, that was kind of, you know, a uh, humbling experience and a, a great experience for me because that's my favorite player. So. Uh, just being able to see how, how hard he goes and to pick his brain on, on certain things uh, was great, and I, I, I appreciate him for that. What did he think? You know, he's known for deep threes. What did yeah. he think of some of the ones you hit? Uh, well, he, he he told me that I have range out of the world. So, uh, so I mean, I already. But he was just telling me like I can use that to my advantage though of getting downhill because they got a guard uh, higher higher off the arc. What are some of the other things you picked his brain about? Uh, just you know how, like what the year that he, the year that the year before he got drafted, I asked him, I'm like, what, what was your like mentality going into you know certain years and, and, and into that year? And he was just telling me like he was just everything was on point, uh, everything he was focused, uh, he was locked in. Um, he said he led the he said he led the year led the country in points that year. And uh, he wasn't even trying to. He said he'll look up, he had 30, 40, and he wasn't even trying. And I'm like, that's crazy. But uh, just, he said that everything was on point, uh, his workout schedule, um, everything. So it Was part of that losing yourself in the game? Is that something yeah, you yeah, part of? Sure. You lose yourself in the game, you do everything you're supposed to, and yeah, yeah, suddenly just, the points are there. Yeah, uh, I, that's what I took from it, uh, just losing yourself in the game and, uh, you know, just being locked in on a certain level of, uh, you know, you're just not worried about anything else. You're just locked in and, and focus on your craft. Of the reserves, the guys who are not starters, like who do you think standing out in the big impact this year that you've seen improve? Really all of them. Um, I'm impressed with really all of them. Um, but uh, Puff, um, Don Trez, uh, Tyler Nickel is going to be great because he can make shots, make tough shots. Um, he's, he's, he's a dog. Um, and Seth, he's going to be, be able to defend like hell. Um, so uh, I feel like I'm, I'm impressed with all of them. DeMarco has taken a big step, uh, so uh, really all of them. Can you tell us a little about Seth and what kind of, since he's probably going to be backing you know, and yeah. RJ up, what he kind of brings to the game? Uh, he brings a defensive presence. Um, like he, he guards me and RJ the toughest, uh, so um, we need that, and it's, that's going to make us better, that's going to make him better, uh, being able to, because if he can guard us, he can guard anybody. So uh, he's, he's going to be great. And knowing you have like a viable backup, does that change your mentality at all? Does it just make you feel a little more comfortable knowing that fouls aren't as much of an issue or you can rest if you have an opportunity? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it helps a lot. Um, just knowing that, you know, we don't have to play the, the whole game. Um, not that I'll complain about that, but, um, uh, yeah, but just having him to come in and, uh, you know, uh, give us a, 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 another good bump uh, would be great. Caleb, what was the biggest personal takeaway for you coming off the national championship? Um, just wanting, you know, when when I made the decision to come back, um, just wanting to win a national championship. Uh, that's probably the, the main thing, and, and doing what I have to do to, to do that, I had to get better. And that's, um, you know, throughout the whole summer, I just, you know, worked on my finishing because that was a, a, the biggest thing that I had to work on. And then uh, just being more efficient and consistent. Um, so my workout schedule, I, I work probably three, three, four times a day, every day, the, the whole summer. And, um, that's, that's just what it's been. And so um, I can say that I'm, you know, I did everything that I you know, had to do to, to get better this summer. It's 
seems like ever since you've gotten to Carolina, you've just had this ironclad confidence. Where do you think that comes from? Um, probably my, my mom and my dad probably instilled that into me uh, early. And um, just going into high school, especially uh, just always walking around. They tell me just to walk around like that's who, that's who you are. You, you're Caleb. And so um, they, they kind of instilled that into me. So uh, I just I carry that everywhere I go. I talked to you in July about the need to be more consistent, and you said that was one of your points of emphasis this offseason. Have you seen something in practice the last few weeks to suggest that you have found a higher level of consistency? Well, I haven't practiced. Uh, my hands, I uh, pulled my hamstring, so I haven't. Well, Hubert said the other night you were practicing some, though. Yeah, I did. I, I practiced a little bit, uh, but it wasn't. I had pulled it again. And okay. Then, yeah, so. But how much time have you missed? Three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. How much? How much longer are you gonna miss? Oh, I, I practice tomorrow. Huh? Like, yeah, that's my first practice in three weeks. But you had a lot of time. You guys were doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, up yeah. To that in the point. summertime, it yeah, was like sure. it was in July. I think when we yeah, talked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, in the summer, in the summertime, I've been you know going. Um, I've seen definitely a consistent, consistent level of me making shots than I'm, more than I miss. So um, I feel like uh, I definitely found a rhythm uh, and, and knowing what I have to, you know what certain shots I can take and what certain shots I shouldn't take. So um, it's just a matter of me not taking as many bad shots. Um, so that's that's what I've been working on. Okay, you, came in, you came into Carolina a pretty smart basketball player, but how has your basketball IQ kind of increased since you stepped on campus? Uh, it increased um, a lot because, you know, I just watch a lot of film. Uh, and I think the biggest thing with getting better is watch a film. Uh, I feel like you have to do that to, to get better, to see certain things. So um, that's that's one of the things that I always do is just watch film. And so uh, my IQ uh, level is based off that, and I see a lot of a lot of things uh, through that. When you go into road games, it feels like, you know, you kind of feed off of that away crowd. Yeah. Energy. What, what's the mentality when you go to, like, a hostile environment? Uh, every time I walk into a, you know, a hostile environment, I love it because, you know, just – it's just the environment is just crazy and the heckling, heckling of the fans and uh, just to, to see them sad and, and, and uh, silence the crowd when the game is over with. That's just the best feeling. And then last question, just I want to get your thoughts and opinions on that whole Draymond, Jordan Poole situation. You know, have you seen anything like that and just kind of your thoughts on that situation? Um, I haven't seen anything like that, but um, it's definitely been like, Fights. Um, I've seen fights before, and um, you know, um, arguing in practice and stuff like that. But um, I don't really have no opinion on it. Um, I've, um, I wasn't in the in the practice, so I can't really speak on it. So, um, but I'm sure they'll they'll handle it. But a lot of times, a lot of times, the difference between a guy being really good and a guy being great is being mentally great. Is that something that you talked to Damien about as well, about the mental side of being mentally great? Yeah, for sure. Um, your mental state has to be, you know, uh, you have to be great at that, and um, it's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that goes into that, like you know, not, you know, worrying about what somebody else says about you, or um, and just like I said, focusing on, on what you have to do to be able to be the best player you, you are. When you guys were up on the stage, um, you said championship or bust, and also you want to write your own story um, between two of you guys. What would you say, because those are kind of conflicting, um, if you had to kind of put like a tagline on, on the season, what would you say to kind of remedy those two things? This upcoming season? Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, we write our own story as far as like, because they tried to, they wanted to compare the 2016 and 2017 team. I feel like we're a whole different team than, than what they were. So that's what I mean by, you know, write our own story. And then as far as championship and bust, that's, what, that's what, what we're coming into is like we got so that, is, that is the mindset. Yeah, that's the mindset. Yeah. Okay. And I have a few questions to get to know um, If you could go pro in another sport, what would it be? Football. Football, why? Yeah. Uh, I, I was a great wide receiver. In high school, you played? Yeah. No, no, I, I stopped it. I stopped before I got to high school. Before you got there? Yeah. yeah. If you are, what are you looking forward to most this upcoming season? Um, you know, just. Walking into the stadium again and seeing, you know, all the fans and um, beating, beating every team that we come across. What is your favorite post-game uh, Spaghetti, for sure. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Yeah. And lastly, if you had, like, a theme to walk out to before you play, what song would it be? Uh, 
Yeah. Probably a little baby song. Little baby song. Yeah. Little any baby any song. little baby okay. song. Yeah. Okay. Just, a, just a quick Charlotte question. Local station down here. When when you put on that jersey as a defending national finalist and, and you represent yourself and your school on this day, how much pride do you have? Um, I carry carry that with, with me everywhere I go. Um, just being able to put this jersey on this is a blessing. Every time I put it on, I just you know I just soak into it. So. Um, it's, it's a it's a blessing to put this jersey on. It's like I'm living out my dream because North Carolina was one of my dream schools, and uh, just growing up watching them, um, and then actually being able to play play for North Carolina, and then like a, just getting to the national championship. That's, that was as a kid, I wanted to you know be in that type of moment. So um, every everywhere I go, I definitely carry carry North Carolina with me. Now that you've had a chance to watch Pete Nance up close for a few months, describe him as a player. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, you know, he's a great teammate uh, first and foremost because uh, he doesn't he doesn't care about his personal you know self, and that's he's he's, he's care, he, care, he cares about you know others and um, he cares about other success. And so uh, I I describe him as like um, he's an all around player. Um, like I said, like he he a playmaker. Um, he he can get it off the dribble. Uh, he's a, he can defend uh, multiple positions, and so uh, it's great having him as a as a, a teammate. And make sure I have the Damian Lillard stuff co uh, c correct. Where would where was that, and when was that? Portland. Portland, yeah. and when was that? Uh, it was in July. And, uh, and how, July. how long were you there? Um, I was there for four days. Four, four days. As far as Pete's concerned, can you sort of walk us through again? Like I know you and he were working out in Chicago before yeah. he had even sort of decided. How did you sort of identify like that dude is good and I would like to play with him? And then uh, once he decided that he was going to come back to school, how did you sort of go about convincing him? Um, yeah, when I met him in, in Chicago, uh, I knew that he had you know North Carolina on his you know, on his radar, but I didn't really say nothing because he was still in the process of uh, you know. Going through the draft process, so I didn't want to, you know, interfere with that. So um, I let him, you know, take his time, and um, it was it was great to, you know, see him work out and, and you know, to work out with him. Uh, he's a hard worker, um, and, and it was great to see him. So, um, uh, but when he when he said that he wanted to, you know, uh, come back to college, uh, I was definitely all on board with that. What, what were you guys doing in Chicago? Just working out in yeah, general? Yeah, just, just working out. Yeah, okay. just working out. Was it just the two of you, or was it like a group? No, nah, it was a group of people. Okay. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Caleb, you and uh, or I just talked to RJ. He talked about how much growing up you guys did, and going through your first really deep postseason run. Um, you know, is what extra responsibilities come on with being an upperclassman and better and experienced guard? Uh, you know, just. Being able to, you know, uh, when we've been through so many situations now, uh, now that we're juniors, uh, that we know exactly what to do in certain situations. Like if we're down 10 with three minutes to go, we've been in that situation before. So uh, to bring the team together. Uh, so uh, that's our job. And, and uh, as vets, uh, we, we basically got to run the show. And what's it been like?